2017 Geneva International Motor Show Hits, Misses, and Revelations. Geneva, Switzerland Like political satire and actual politics, it's beginning to get harder to tell the difference between the outrageous concepts and low-volume exotic cars from tiny undercapitalized cottage automakers, and volume models from established automakers. It doesn't help that every other vehicle at this show is a big, slab-sided ultra-luxury sport or utility coupe, an electric performance car, or a sharp-edged supercar. But Geneva is everyone's favorite international auto show, and held on neutral territory, to boot. That means hits, misses, and revelations is overflowing with an embarrassment of automotive riches. To wit is the first McLaren ever developed as a purpose-built successor to an existing model. There's a lot riding on the 720s good on McLaren for fully overhauling arguably its most important supercar, with 90% new parts and a design that's both stunningly futuristic and aware of its roots in the historic F1 road car. If driving dynamics live up to our expectations, McLaren will have Ferrari on its heels more than Enzo could ever have imagined. Supercar makers typically load us up with spectacular specs then try to wow with a design that kind of looks like a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, or a La Mans race car. This one's specs include bespoke 710 horsepower 4.0 liter turbo V8, and a 56% increase in downforce over the Pone. The body essentially consists of two skins and it channels air between them for the most comprehensive aerodynamics on the street. Absorb all that, then feast your eyes on a mid-engine cab-forward hypercar that resembles a modern McLaren BMW F1 with an extended tail. 